So what's next? You're gonna start throwing weapons out in the cage? You <laughs> know. Everybody, Jennifer Waters here. Welcome back to Fight Time. And today we've got some really special guests joining me. We've got Steven Wonderboy Thompson and his bro, Tony Sweet T Thompson. What's Sweet up, tea. guys? That's right, that's right. What's up? Thanks for having us on. Are you kidding? People yeah. don't know how far we like, <laughs> I've known Jennifer Waters since what? You were basically born, you know, causing chaos at your dad's <laughs> school uh, all the time. Me and you, my, Evan, Lindsay, just running around yeah. just acting like crazy kids. I wasn't even thought of yet. No, Tony wasn't even uh, around. <laughs> no, no. And then, and then, like, some of the crazy shenanigans, like, jumping off of rooftops at the old upstate karate. Like, I think I was no, too short God. to, like, get on top of the air conditioning. Y'all wouldn't help me up. And I was, like, I was, like, pissed. <laughs> like, no, right. you can't do it. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, we're always getting into, into crazy stuff. Too. I did that probably up until I was, what, 25? Yeah, I'm pretty sure up until you, like, uh, Sign the UFC contract. And yeah, like, you can't I, I do can't, that stuff anymore. Can't do it anymore, right? I can't do all yeah. that shit anymore. Crazy. Well, hey guys, uh, I, I wanted to I wanted to chat because you know the fight game is evolving so much lately. It is, and uh, I really wanted to get y'all's take because there's been a lot of people that are like complaining about the you know the paul brothers coming in and youtubers and tiktok people and like getting all this stuff and getting paid these astronomical amounts and they're like wait a second they don't have street cred they haven't fought before why are they getting paid more like what's your take why do you think that we're seeing so much of this crossover and why are you know martial artists really hacked off about it well, I, I think it's because, number one, I mean, the, 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 you know, Jake and Logan Paul are the ones that kind of started it. Well, actually, I think it was Conor McGregor going, going over and fighting Mayweather, what kind of sparked the whole thing. Yeah. You know, you got this MMA fighter, um, you know, crossing over to boxing, which has never been done before, you know, pretty much. I think the last time we saw that was when, what, uh, Muhammad Ali fought that, that, judo guy back in the day and yeah got like Japan or something yeah. I don't know. it was in like japan people don't yeah. even realize that that even happened yeah but um you know that was just wild and the money that conor mcgregor made during that was just ridiculous i think he made like a hundred million dollars something crazy so next thing you know you get these mma guys calling out boxers and then you got the paul brothers jake and logan paul who are athletes they got, i know they got they got big off of what vine sweetie they start. They started, they started on Vine, Vine. And then Vine. Vine shut down. And they moved over to YouTube, and they just kept building their their right. digital presence. Yeah. yeah. And I believe uh, Logan Paul did some stuff with some MMA fighters and realized that hey, I'm an athlete. He was a wrestler, like I think a D1 wrestler or something mm -hmm. like that. Very, very, very um, high level athlete. And he's like, you know, started. Next thing you know, they're calling. He's calling these MMA guys out. Or it started out with the TikTok thing. I think that. Well, it actually started with Logan Paul fighting a fellow. YouTuber, right? Twitch streamer oh, in KSI. That's right. Right. Oh. They were they had beef, so they were like, "Let's fight," and then they had the idea of let's monetize it by doing a boxing event. We'll have other fights. We'll like actually benefit from this because if we go out the back and we just fight each other and beat each other up, no one's going to know about it, and it's not going to be worth anybody's time. So that I think that was the spark of all of this, you know, um, digital media stars. Yeah. getting into the fight game and yeah. then it kind of evolved into them actually trying to fight legit people and you know so that's kind of how it started yeah. but and and you know as as an athlete you know a, a guy who's been in the octagon for the longest time and you know fought a lot of guys and i mean you got like tyron woodley you got ben asker as an athlete i felt like these guys don't deserve to step in the ring with with these other guys right right they don't deserve to go out there and just even put gloves on with these guys. Yeah. Um, they yeah. haven't earned it. But on the other side of that, as a fellow YouTuber, these guys are making moves, man. They're making moves and they're making money doing it. Sure. And um, sure. um, so it's kind of me as a professional athlete, it's like, uh, it's kind of cringe. Um, but at, on the other side of that, it's business. I understand that. And these guys are making money, you know, not just them as youtubers and now boxers but these other guys who have retired ben askren tyron woodley 
giving these guys a shot at making some real money as well. Hey everybody, really appreciate you watching this video. Part two is coming up soon. That's why you need to turn on your notifications. Once you do, you'll be alerted when I drop the next video, which should be in just a few days. Anyway, in the meantime, make sure you check out these videos that are over here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy the interviews and the content. Do me a favor, if you do enjoy it, don't hold back, drop me a comment. See you guys the next time.